quite easy. The home that I grew up in, I'm the youngest of 12 children, the home that I grew up in, my mother's losing her home. Five generations grew up in that home. So my heart is heavy. But I'm grateful that she was able to see me get my life All right. back together. Let's go. Let's go. I want you to point it out, man. When I was a little guy, I remember breaking my mother's lamp. And my big brother came in the room and said, boy, look what you done done. Yeah. You done broke mama's good lamp. So we went and got some glue and we tried to put it back together. And the first thing mama saw when she came home was that lamp. We didn't do a good job. But I tell you this, I know of a part who's able to take broken it down. Give them a new lease for yes. life. Yes. Yes. How many of y'all know that the road to total fulfillment in Christ is paved with humility yes. 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 and yes. Sir. Yes. gratitude? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I was in this, in this evening, Elder John, with the sound, right. to give you a testimony on humility. I did not know this was the first lady of the house. Humility. She didn't present herself as somebody who was holier than that. Right, right, right. Now I've got a song I want to share with you. Y'all be prayerful with me because this song is really heavy on my heart. Meditate with me if you will. It says, The Potter. Mm -hmm. Saw a vessel yes. that had been broken ah, come on, from the wind and the rain. Yeah, yeah. But he saw it with so much compassion to put it back. Together again. You see, I was that broken vessel that no one thought was any good. But I see, Lord. And I, I am the clay. Make me over again today. Am I the only broken one of somebody who I'm talking about? Thank you. 
Thank you. 